made it to my second Airbnb in Santa Ana. Um, Santa Ana is just this beautiful small town that kind of reminds me almost of Guatemala. Um, some of the towns that I was in there when I was traveling, it, it's beautiful, it's surrounded by these mountains. Um, you can tell that, at least on the weekend, the major parks, it's a big family area, lots of people out, lots of people in the marketplace. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying so far Santa Ana. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be um, going to a few different places. So the first is going to be some Mayan ruins. Um, probably would butcher the name, so I'm going to include a link down below to talk a little bit more about that. I'm going there. I'm also going to this national park, um, so you get to see what that looks like. Really beautiful green, what I saw online. And finally, um, you're just going to be also, these are the same tour group that I'm going to be taking in order to go to La Reina, Chantanango, and uh, attempt to meet my birth mother. So I'm kind of, you know, going to get to know this group and this company a little bit. Um, and then, you know, in a little bit, I'm also then going to be going to La Reina when I go to Suchitoto. Um, the other thing we're doing, so aside from that, also going to see the um, Cerro Verde, which is the volcano, I believe. It kind of gives you an idea of what my trip is now turning into. This is going to be, I think, um, I'm getting more and more nervous and more and more anxious as we're leading up to that date. I do think I'm going to be able to find her, my birth mother, but really, you don't know. You know, I never know. I have two days. I have, it's a very small town. I can pass out my, my photo. You know, I can try to network a little bit and talk with the people and try to find someone who knows her. Um, but I, I don't know. You know, you probably know because you're seeing this in the future whether or not that happens. But I think that'd be pretty cool regardless. Um, I'm really, you know, I like my time here in El Salvador. It's been, I've never had any bad experiences. Food is just freaking amazing. Um, weather is great. You know, it's obviously a little bit hot, but um, so far, having a great trip.